dear students welcome to my channel knowledge first today i will be teaching you about atkins gel square process also known as exertion of convergence this method was introduced by this method was introduced by alexander atkin in 1926 and is useful for accelerating the convergence of sequences converging linearly <clears throat> in this method we perform only two iterations so the rate of convergence of this method is faster that is it approaches the rule quickly working rule let the given equation be f of x is equal to 0 suppose x not be the initial root then we write the iteration scheme form xn plus 1 is equal to pi of xn <clears throat> also we use x1 and set x1 is equal to phi of x0 and x2 is equal to phi of x1 then finally we use atkins del square process which is alpha is equal to xn plus 1 minus del xn square divided by del square xn minus 1 example find the positive real root of the equation x cube minus 4x square plus x minus 10 is equal to 0 correct to four decimal places to 
find the initial root we find f of 4 is equal to 4 cube minus 4 4 square plus 4 minus 10 which is equal to minus 6 and f of 5 is equal to 5 cube minus 4 5 square into 5 square plus 5 minus 10 which is equal to 20 as f of 4 into f of 5 is less than 0 minus 6 into 20 is less than 0 therefore f of 4 and f of 5 are of opposite sinus hence the root lies between the root lies between 4 comma 5 now the given equation can be expressed as x cube minus 4x square plus x minus 10 is equal to 0 or x is equal to 4x square minus x cube plus 10 if there was no term involving single power of x then we do the same as shown in screen so our 5x is equal to 4x square minus x cube plus 10 now using the iteration formula formula xn plus 1 is equal to 5 of xn therefore by putting n is equal to 0 x1 is equal to 4 x1 x naught square minus x naught cube plus 10 we set the initial root x naught is equal to 4 implies x1 is equal to 4 into 4 square minus 4 cube plus 10 which is equal to 10 in the same way by putting n is equal to 1 we get x2 is equal to 4 x1 square minus x1 cube plus 10 which is equal to 4 times 10 square minus 10 cube plus 10 which comes out to be minus 590 then we form the table like this x here this is del x is equal to xn plus 1 minus xn then then del square x is equal to del of del x which is again is equal to del x n plus 1 minus del x n del x n so this is del x n here now x naught is equal to 4 x1 is equal to 10 as you find here x1 is equal to 10 and x2 is equal to minus 590 del x del x naught the finite difference operator (laughs) 
is x1 minus x0 which is equal to 6 then del x1 the difference between x2 and x1 which is equal to x2 minus x1 which is equal to minus 600 then del square x del square x0 is equal to del x1 minus del x0 which is equal to minus 600 minus 6 is equal to minus 600 6 now using the it comes del square process alpha is called xn plus 1 minus del xn square divide by del x and minus 1 square where del square is the difference operator and x is called alpha x is called alpha is the root of the equation Putting n is equal to 0 implies alpha is equal to putting n is equal to 1. Sorry, putting n is equal to 1 implies alpha is equal to x2 minus del x1 square divided by del square x0 implies alpha is equal to. Minus 590 minus delta x1 minus 600 square divided by delta square x0 which is equal to minus 606 which comes out to be 4.0594 correct up to 4 decimal places. Please like and share my video and don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel as it will motivate me and will also help me to improve my way of teaching. If there are some suggestions or some mistake has been done by me in this lecture, write the same in the comment box. Thank you.